we can't get our produce. The Occupy movement at the port is affecting students trying to help others. That tops tonight's Your Money. Here is News Channel 8 business reporter Joe Smith. Good evening, Laurel and Tracy. One of the messages of the Occupy movement is to shed light on the 99% of hardworking people just trying to get by. But Monday's actions at the Port of Portland threaten some of the very people the movement says it's out to help. All because one truck couldn't get through the protest at the port. <laughs> I think there's a lot of beats over there. Teacher Roy Whitman is determined. He's on a deadline. Once a year, six high schools and members of the FFA from Wilhelmina, Sheridan, Amity, Dayton, Yamhill, Carlton, and Perrydale help distribute all this Oregon-grown produce to families around the state. The effort is food for all. It's about a 53-foot enclosed semi-trailer that will be packed full. But... This action by occupiers Monday blocking the Terminal 6 entrance at the port caused a ripple effect. We can't get our produce because the farmer that was delivering straw to Terminal 6 couldn't get in. Because the driver couldn't unload, it meant the truck wasn't available to pick up and deliver more produce for Food for All. But it put us behind the cue ball as far as getting everything ready to go. This all-volunteer effort delivers a food basket to some 4,000 families in Oregon this time of year. It's been doing so for 14 years now. And I, I don't even know if the you know, Occupy Portland people realize the trickle-down effect that their actions are having on the people that are trying to survive day to day. Now a day behind, these students are working long hours to meet the 6 a.m. deadline this Friday. We are the 99 percent. The port shutdown affected nearly 200 members of Local 8 and their paychecks. Okay, with a figure between 30 and $70,000 were lost. Longshoremen and truckers are a day behind. The backup seen early Tuesday morning from Sky 8. So we had all kinds of people that needed to get their products to the terminal that couldn't yesterday and they were turned away from the gate. It's not good. Despite this setback, determination by this group of volunteers to help others here in Oregon will be delivered. Friday morning, bright and early, 6 o'clock at Perdue High School. Now, if you'd like to help Food for All, you can call 503-550-0471.